G'day guys. It is Saturday morning and I've just finished cleaning up after brekkie. But I still have one bowl here. Unless the table's empty. One bowl. That's Shadow's bowl. She hasn't turned up for brekkie. I don't know where she is. It is spring, so there's a lot of new baby chips around out in the paddock, so I dare say She's through the back gate, over the hill, out into the paddocks and just chasing those uh, birds around. So let's go find her and bring her back for some brekkie. Oh, there she is. Hey, darling. What are you doing out here? Oh, you chasing the birds? There they go. Look, the birds chasing her. She's chasing the birds. I knew this is where she'd be. Springtime, the birds are especially active. They got baby chicks in the nest. Shadow's favorite time of year to be a bird chaser. She will be panting with foam coming out of the mouth, tongue hanging out. She has been running around for the last, what is it now, nine o'clock. And uh, I let her out this morning at seven, so good two hours out here. It's getting pretty warm. So let's, let's see what's going on. Good day, darling. You ready for some brekkie, Shadow? You ready for some brekkie, darling? Hi! 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 Hi Look at her, she is, and she doesn't want to stop for anything. Where's those cheeky birds? Did you get them? Did you get those cheeky birds? Oh, yeah. Abra, Abra. None of that, cut it out. Well, right, come get some brekkie, Shadow. Come on. Rosie, cut it out. Looks like the path's blocked for me today. Gonna have to get the chainsaw out and clear this one up. That's a big tree that's come down. Did it take out anything else? Oh, we. we have had some winds lately, but I didn't see that come down. We'll have to go the long way. We just went through this track yesterday, so this has happened last night. Just go, they penetrate down uh, pretty deep. 
they don't spread out very far so if they have got any kind of boring bug or grub that's infested into the, into the uh, tree and it's compromising the integrity of the root system that's what happens they just snap off because they've only got one or one main root that just goes straight down and maybe one spindly one that comes off the side so they're not like a normal tree where if they fall over it rips up a couple of meters around where the stump was it's just straight down below but i don't know why they do it but they do it all the time everyone knows about it here in australia that you can't tell it doesn't look like a dying branch it looks like a healthy full rich branch and maybe it's just that it's carrying too much weight and water but they let them go and huge big healthy branches come down and thump the ground real hard. I've had a couple come down near me before while working up here but luckily none have been too close. So that one that's a uh, that's a solid tree that's come down straight over the top of our track. Glad we weren't running the dogs when that happened. Good boy, Fredo, holding down the fort, mate. Here she comes. Come on, darling. Good girl, Shadow. Good girl. Good girl. Have a drink, the other one. Have a Have a have a Good girl, darling. You had a big run around. Missed out on brekkie and everything. Oh, yeah, let's see if she wants to eat. I'll have a drink first. Good girl, darling. Good girl. You want some brekkie? You want Take your time, darling. Telling a staffy to take her time eating is like telling Wolfie to slow down. It just doesn't happen. No guesses where Miss Violet and Miss Red get it from. Trying to clean up the scraps. Trying to clean up the scraps. Won't be getting any scraps from this one. I don't want to lift her head out of that bowl till it's all gone. Good girl, shut up, good girl. 